Hey guys, it's me, 1239 here, and in today's video, I wanted to show you guys what is in the dictionary that Gilbert gave to Anne in Season 2, Episode 6, The Christmas Episode, also known as the Panto Episode, also known as whatever the title of the episode is, I don't know it. As you might recall, Gilbert gave Anne a mini dictionary with a quote that he said in Season 1, which is so iconic. You're gonna beat me in class. I want you to do it fair and square. And I'm gonna show you guys what is in the dictionary because I feel like, like, I've been getting this question not a lot, but I got this question recently and I also got this question last year and I feel like it's just time to make this video. I know I said that in my what I want in the props auction video, which I'll leave right here. There's a card right here and a link in the description box below because I won like four things from the show. I said in that video that I would read to you guys what is in the dictionary, but it's actually just like a story. So I feel like it's not really that interesting to read to you guys what is in the dictionary, but to actually just show you guys what is in the dictionary. I keep having to say this, but anyway, I don't know if you guys know this or if you guys have noticed this, but I always keep the dictionary right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I always keep it right in the corner of my video. So you guys will always be able to see that. It is so iconic, but anyway, I'm gonna pull it out. So I always keep it there just cause I think it looks really pretty and obviously it's from the show and I keep a lot of and things behind me. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try to show you guys in close-up shots if I can. Here is the quote that Gilbert says. I really don't wanna open it too much cause I feel like I'm gonna wreck it. So he wrote in this dictionary, so you can beat me fair and square, Gilbert. The first couple of pages in the dictionary are from like an actual dictionary, which contain like words in the A section of the dictionary, if that makes sense. So there are a couple of A words, you know, that sounds weird. And then the rest of the dictionary, which I think is so interesting, it's a story. I thought it would be like a parable or something from the Bible. The rest of this dictionary contains a passage from a book called The Memoirs of Mr. Charles J. Yellow Plush. I honestly have no idea what it is and I don't really plan on reading the dictionary because it's just a random story that I feel like they just needed a mini book that they could customize and sort of like fool the audience into believing it's a full dictionary. So I think they even customize the cover of it just because it actually does say Maritime's Thumb Dictionary. I feel like they took a chunk of a memoir and a chunk of an actual dictionary and they just glued it all together. So that's why I don't really want to like open it too much because I feel like the glue might come undone. I don't know. I just want to be very delicate with this book because, you know, it's a very cherished object that I was so, so lucky to be able to win, you know? I also got a comment in the what I want in the auction video asking how do I know what dictionary I got because like I said in that video, there were two dictionaries that were auctioned off and I know I got the dictionary from season two episode six just because the Ziploc bag that the dictionary came in actually says Thumb Dictionary from Gilbert 206. So I'm assuming that the other one that was auctioned off, which was actually auctioned off at a much higher price, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. I would have been just like, I was okay with getting this one. But I think that one was from season three because as you probably recall, season three also contained this dictionary in one scene where Anne is kind of like contemplating Gilbert and like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think it was in season three, episode nine, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember anymore, but it was kind of like a parallel scene where Gilbert was contemplating about whether or not to marry Winnie and sort of dropped this dictionary under her bed and then she picked it up and she was like, oh, I think I like Gilbert or something like that. Anyway, so that's that on that. Comment below if you have actually noticed that the dictionary has been behind me this entire time <laughs> in my videos, let me know. So the next thing I wanted to show you guys, even though I do have the video where I explain all this stuff, but there was something that, I, that caught my eye that I hadn't actually realized until later on about the slate. This is the slate that was, I hopefully use in the... <laughs> scene where Anne cracks a slate over Gilbert's head in season one, episode three. Hopefully this was the actual slate, but I still really love it and I can't believe I have it. Like I literally can't. So the thing I wanted to show you guys, which I will probably show you guys in a close-up because it's really hard to see, there is a flower behind the slate. So this is the cracked side of it. And then behind it, there's like a little flower, which I think they added as like a detail 
to like, you know, Anne's personality. She loves flowers. And so I thought that was interesting because, or maybe Amy Beth drew on it. I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. If she ever sees this and can like clarify what this is, I don't know if it was either herself or someone from the props department that did this, but obviously someone drew a flower on the back of the slate, which I thought was interesting. Or if someone from the props department, if they know, let us know. <laughs> and let us know the story behind it if you can. Maybe it was someone's just bored. I don't know. Maybe it's just someone doodling. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting regardless. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, if you noticed that I had the mini dictionary behind me this entire time, let me know what other videos you would like to see me make. I hope that this video was somewhat interesting to you guys and clarified some things. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for always watching. Mwah. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want. Thank you so much to Raster and Zarya Abdar for becoming channel members. It really means a lot to me. Joining my channel membership will give you awesome perks, emojis, and badges, and it helps to support my channel, so please consider joining if you think it's something you'd be interested in. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Mwah.